I don't think my my community is asking for special treatment. I'm not asking for special treatment. We're all, we're just asking to be treated the same as everyone. The year was bookended with police arrests that made headlines. From the wrongful arrest of Mamadzi Kamara by Montreal police and the violent arrests of black teens in Quebec City that led to the suspension of five officers. These cases often brought to light thanks to this, a tool that has been used to prove what black Quebecers have been talking about for years. There's nothing new about those kind of cases because what we see is that racial profiling now, we can actually see it. it's getting filmed. We see people of color being treated differently, but there's absolutely nothing new. It's been that years for, for, for as long as I can remember. Formal racial profiling complaint cases in Quebec doubled in the past three years, according to the province's Human Rights Commission. The number of open cases, mainly complaints against police, increased from 46 in 2018-2019 to 86 in 2020-2021. Um, a lot of those cases are actually right now in front of the court. Um, we've, I, I personally, with a lot of lawyers that I work with, uh, we've deposed uh, approximately seven legal suits against multiple cities uh, in Quebec for all the bishop cases of racial profiling that happened this year. So it's a lot of work, but we're just at the beginning. Belton says the outrage at the start of the year became clouded by the narrative of gun violence and street gangs. If we actually look at the beginning of the year, uh, you could actually feel that people were outraged when they would see that, those kind of arrests, all right? Then happened all the um, media attention that was really focused on gun violence and on um, uh, Gain Street. And when we were, we were talking about Gain Street in, in Quebec, the only thing that comes into mind of the, the, the normal people is Black people. So when after that you get people of color actually getting arrested that way, instead of being and saying this is not reasonable for someone to be arrested that way, what you're going to get is People saying, what well, we don't know the full story. We don't know actually what happened before. Even though your eyes and your conscience, what you see is actually obvious. Experts say systemic racism can only be solved if the system changes. Uh, in front of the court, having judges who have the courage to actually say, well, this was racial profiling. It's really, really hard because in the, I think in the head of a lot of judges, when you're talking about a case of racial profiling, they, they're they saying this themselves. If I come to that conclusion, it would be as if I'm I'm saying that the police is racist. So let me, let me acquit that person on another fact instead of saying that it was racial profiling. In front of the Superior Court, there, there are no Black judge. There's not even one. So when you come in front of a judge that is not acquainted at, the, at, at those kind of reality, his mind has to be open. In Montreal, Brittany Enriquez, City News.